guys. I know it's been a while, but I just wanted to check in and do a quick tutorial on how to sidechain third-party plugins within uh, FL Studio. And we're going to uh, use Bombardier. Uh, it's a, a bus compressor. Um, and it's, you can see here by Stillwell. Uh, this will work though for pretty much all uh, third-party plugins uh, as long as it's coded correctly. Um, it should work. So to begin with I have first of all a kick. Um, four on the floor kick. I also have this little um, melody I just sort of punched in really quick. Um, nothing even close to fancy just to, just to demonstrate. Um, and to start off with I'm going to show you, uh, we're going to do first what we do with most sidechain um, uh, when we're doing most sidechains. So we have the kick on this insert here and then we have the synth on the second insert. If we want to sidechain the synth to the kick we first uh, click down here to activate uh, the kick to go through channel 2 as we can see right here. Uh, this knob right here will adjust the volume of the kick through the second channel. If we turn it all the way down we're gonna get that uh, actual traditional sidechain that we usually think of um, when someone mentions sidechaining. So right now the kick signal is gonna be uh, registering through harmless or through the harmless channel here however it won't be um, actually um, creating any additional gain uh, of the kick let me demonstrate so you can see there when I turn the knob up it actually increased the um, gain on the kick because it's also uh, reproducing a second signal uh, in the second channel of the kick. So it's sort of multiplying the, the signal of the kick. Now, uh, if we want to sidechain with this third-party compressor, first we want to click on sidechain. Um, most of the third-party plugins will have some sort of button that will allow you to sidechain, and that's how it works. Next, you're going to want to go to Fruity Wrapper. Um, the wrapper settings are right here. It's very easy click there and usually it'll start on settings but then you want to go to processing and you want to go to auto map inputs and you can see that will automatically map the sidechain through input 3 and 4 um, that'll be the kick signal the sidechain then we're gonna go to settings and go back this way and that should do it So you can see, kind of see how that works there. And uh, the reason that this is pretty effective and um, very useful to know is because a lot of plugins, third-party plugins, are actually coded for sidechaining use. Um, and so say you have Fruity Limiter, uh, which allows you to do sidechain compression, but it's not giving you quite the character or quite the sound that you're looking for from your sidechain. Um, this will allow you to use different types of compressors and overall it'll give you a little bit more flexibility when you are producing. You could also oversample which is cool. that's uh, more or less how you do it pretty simple um, and I would like to thank one of the viewers out there for suggesting this tutorial um, I'm gonna try to keep up to date with more and more tutorials um, I'm a little bit busy uh, right now but uh, if you guys have any questions at all um, I might I'll certainly try to answer them and I might feature them in a tutorial so thanks again for watching. I got some interesting links in the description box and uh, hope to see you again or talk to you again soon. And um, 
If you ever have any questions, feel free to send me an email or I respond to emails much quicker than I do through YouTube. But you could also drop a comment or send a message via YouTube. So thanks.